throughout history to control and eliminate populations that stood in the way of industry and expansion, many world governments have turned to genocide. But this is not just history. This is happening right now to the Uyghurs of East Turkestan. This area, northwest of China, is now called the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region by the Chinese state. It is the ancestral home to myself and another 20 million Uyghurs. Though our people have a rich and distinct culture from China, the Chinese Communist Party took military control of our lands to appropriate our natural resources. In 1949, an influx of armed forces instituted the first political prison camps. Today, my native language, my faith, and my traditions are prohibited. Our continued desire for self-determination is seen as a threat to Chinese control. Practicing our Uyghur customs can result in prosecution as a radical terrorist, and under this guise of preventing terrorism, the CCP is eradicating my people. To reduce the Uyghur population, our women are either incentivized to marry ethnic Chinese men, forced to take birth control, or even undergo sterilization. Children born without government authorization are removed from their families and placed in state-run orphan schools. Reports show that the Uyghur birth rate has dropped 50%, and the number of children in orphanages has increased almost 80%. Uyghurs are constantly surveilled, even in our most intimate moments. Government cadres are often assigned to live inside our homes, where they monitor our lives through a program called Pair Up and Become Family. There's also a region-wide network of facial recognition cameras and real-time AI surveillance known as the IJOP. Mandatory checkpoints collect biodata like fingerprints, iris scans, and gait patterns. Our mobile data, education, and lifestyles are monitored and mined by AI development companies to feed algorithms that are said to predict dissenting behavior. We're placed under preventative surveillance and sentenced to prison or concentration camps based only on this algorithm. The CCP has made Uyghurs a captive test population in an attempt to perfect the first AI techno-state monitored by an algorithm that identifies race and predicts behavior. Testimonies from those who have escaped and leaked data show Uyghurs in these camps face physical torture, rape, medical manipulation, forced labor, and murder. And satellite imagery shows that these camps have grown by 450% between 2016 and 2018 alone and are estimated to hold at least 1.8 to 3 million Uyghurs. Surveillance, prison camps, forced labor, political indoctrination, faith eradication, culture control, murder. These methods describe only one crime. Why is the world turning a blind eye to the exploitation and murder of my people? China is investing billions of dollars into other countries, using economic leverage to rally support for their narrative that there is no genocide in East Turkestan. They are also modifying and exporting their surveillance technology worldwide. A recent deal with Zimbabwe stipulated that in exchange for a Chinese AI surveillance network, the country must share biodata of its dark-skinned citizens with the CCP. Also, the Uyghur diaspora outside of China are finding the Chinese authorities monitor their conversations with family in the region and use them as grounds for imprisonment. Relatives around the world are forced to stay quiet about the genocide and stop any communication with loved ones in the region entirely in order to keep them safe. So how and when will we hold China accountable? Even with the threats we face, Uyghurs from all over the world are coming together to draw attention to the genocide being perpetrated in our home. Now, we need your help. You can counter China's genocide denial by educating yourself and using your platform to educate others. We need to spread awareness to build the support necessary to spur action, pass legislation that applies economic pressure, and to let the Chinese government know the world is watching. When you share, others do as well, and your activism will spread. You can have an exponential impact on real people's lives. We all have an obligation to uphold the global pledge of never again and fight for human rights that are under siege today. Share this video and visit our website for resources on how we can take action together.